I know that you are all aware that times are tough right now. It is tough for individuals. It is tough for large organizations, small organizations, and nonprofits. Dove House is able to offer critical life-saving services because of the generosity of individuals like you and because of our annual celebration luncheon and dessert auction. This year, we had to postpone our event, but the services that we offer are critical. Even though we've had to postpone that event, we wanted to share a portion of the program with you. We wanted to share Jillian's story. Jillian was one of our doves who successfully completed our program and is alive today because of it. I would have died if Dove House hadn't stuck around and given me ample opportunity to recover. I came from a very loving home. Um, my parents have been married for over 25 years, um, so they set a good example. Oh, she was a great child, exciting, um, a lot of fun, very active, great laugh. She has always been a, a very spirited child um, and a lot of fun. Uh, raising her was a great joy until she was 17. I started using drugs and alcohol when I was about 17 years old. I didn't really understand what addiction was or the fact that I was an addict until probably closer to 21 or 22. And by that time, I was a little in over my head. But the summer uh, that she was 22, she told us that she was addicted to pain pills. By the time that I realized I had a problem, I wasn't trying to seek help for that problem. I eventually, heroin became my drug of choice. We, we had suspicions that she was probably using something, but we didn't know to what extent. And then we'd hear stories from other people and we kind of didn't believe them, or maybe we were in denial, I don't know. Um, and then that day came. And we realized how bad it was and she didn't want help, and you couldn't get her help, so. I'll never forget that morning because I opened the door and she was sitting Indian style with her legs crossed and her face was flat in the mattress. And next to her was a leather belt and a little dish with a needle in it. And I knew exactly what that meant. The drugs became more important than anything in my life. Um, and then even after I had my son, they became more important than him. At this point, Jill's 27. We've been dealing with this for five, six years. There's not a treatment program in this state she hasn't tried. Dove Recovery House for Women started in 2000, and we are the largest transitional housing program for women recovering from addiction. We house 40 women every single night, and last year housed a total of 80 women. So my mom had been trying to get me to come to Dove House for like four or five years at this point, and um, I had always said no because I felt like they were gonna really make me recover, and I wasn't ready to recover. And I always told her, you know, I'd sleep under a bridge to save your life, you know, I didn't care what it cost. So when she did get admitted here and they had a bed for her, uh, I was filled with a hope that I hadn't had in a long time. And the fact that it's 100% free, that I could just focus on getting better and healing traumas that I had been carrying around for over 20 years was refreshing. Dove House depends tremendously on donors, community support, grants, um, to ensure that our program remains free. When I first got to Dove House, my relationship with my son was pretty tarnished. It was just as broken as I was. Um, and for a while, it was really hard for me to um, establish that relationship with him, and I didn't even know if I wanted to. It's, it's amazing how powerful addiction can be, where you could actually surrender your child to us and just go out there and not want to be a part of that child's life. The reality is, is there's a lot of nonprofits in Indianapolis and there's a lot of ways in which donors can give their money. And when they invest in Dove House, they're investing in future. If I could say anything to the Dove House team, it would be thank you. Thank you so much for 
never giving up on me, for loving me when I couldn't love myself, for giving me the tools to allow me to be the woman that you guys believed in me that I could be. The Dove House to me is a place of hope, a place of love, a place of compassion, and a place where girls can get their lives back. He's so full of life and he's four years old now and he's in preschool and um, he's playing football and he's the light of my life. He, he's everything for me and it's so, I'm just so grateful to be able to show up and be his mom today. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Jillian. Right now, we need your help more than ever to keep our doors open. We are hoping that you will join us by making a $300 gift or more to our Fund a Dove campaign. This will ensure that our program remains free to the most vulnerable women in our community. Thank you for your time today, and I hope that you and yours stay safe and healthy. Thank you.